Hi, this is Grant from Cape Snake Conservation and today I want to try and dispel one of the most common myths that people have with snakes. One of the most common myths that people have and uh, I, I hear this very often is that people believe that snakes will chase you. Now, a defensive act does not necessarily mean that it's an aggressive act. The, there's a difference between an animal defending its own life or actively seeking out to hurt you. So what I've done is to take the Cape Cobra that we caught and that we learned to identify in the last video and took that same snake and demonstrated what I believe that snake is, is feeling or what it's going through. And I think it'll be quite clear in this video that this Cape Cobra has got no intention of wanting to attack me. One must always remember that when a snake bites a person, it's putting itself into a highly vulnerable situation. That bite could lead to an, a defensive attack from an animal or a person, leading ultimately to that snake's death. The venom takes a long time to act, relatively speaking. So that snake biting a person is really not actually in its best interests. A snake will only try and bite you as a last resort when it feels that its life is in danger. So to illustrate that point, I've taken out this live Cape Cobra and just given you a one-on-one -on -one demonstration to show you that if you come across a snake, don't tamper with it, don't try and catch it, don't try to hurt it. The best thing to do is to walk away. Now, something else that I wanted to show you is that snakes are not aggressive as such. Of course, a snake like this is lethal. The snake can kill me. But the only reason why this snake is going to try and bite me is because I'm interfering with it. Right now, I'm sitting less than half a meter away and the snake is not turning around aggressively trying to bite me it's not trying to chase me this snake right now is thinking what is the best way for me to escape this situation what is the best way for me to get out of this without having to turn my back if I tap the snake if I tap the cobra even at, at this point it's just standing alert it's just wary I'm also not moving around a lot. The snake will respond mostly to movement. See, right now it's really just trying to move away. Now, if I try and grab its tail, it's not going to be very happy with me because it feels it feels that I'm acting in an aggressive way towards it. But even so, the snake is still just trying to get away. And it'll strike at me occasionally strike at me occasionally when it, it feels that it's being threatened and that its attempts to flee are not, are not quite working. But really you can see that the snake is actually not interested in me. The snake is really interested in its own safety right now. That, that, that is its primary goal. See, now the snake feels that it has got nowhere to go and it feels that if it turns its back it's putting itself into a vulnerable position or situation so it's standing at the ready really just waiting to see what i'll do and if i move in any kind of aggressive sort of way it'll either stand up higher or it might even strike at me so it just opens its hood a little bit not actually just try to strike at me because it's feeling a little bit more intimidated and basically what the snake is telling me is that it wants me to back off it wants me to go away. The adrenaline is pumping through the snake's body just like it pumps through mine. So the moral of the story really is if you see a snake like this, there's no need to try and kill it because the snake is not, the snake is not wanting to bite me or to be aggressive towards me. The snake, all it wants to do is to flee for its own life. I'm gonna give you an example right now. The snake is standing up in what a lot of people would think is a aggressive posture, making a slight hood standing at the ready, it is ready to strike at any minute. 
Watch what happens though, if I simply walk away slowly. The snake watched me attentively as I walked away, just keeping an eye on my next move, while at the same time ensuring that it was in a position that it was able to defend itself. These clips are sped up. The snake remained in this position for close to five minutes. It watched me closely and when it felt that the danger had passed, it slowly lowered itself and fled for safety. <laughs>